You're listening to KEXP. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle and streaming worldwide at KEXP.org. We've also got a free mobile app you can download. Take KEXP with you wherever you go. And I'm Cheryl Waters in the studios with Chastity Belt. Welcome. Thank you. So wonderful to see all of you. And I love the record. Came out last year in September. Chastity Belt. You also have a new single you recently released, which I see you're also going to play today, which is great. It's our song of the day today, oh. our KEXP podcast song of the day. <laughs> so I love that we're going to get a live version of it on the show today. But uh, without further ado, it's live music from Chastity Belt in the KEXP studios. listening to Chastity Belt live in the KEXP studios, playing songs from their self-titled album, which came out on Hardly Art in September.
so lovely. We're live here in the KEXP studios. It's Julia, Lydia, Gretchen, and Annie of Chastity Belt and playing songs from the new album, Chastity Belt. Tonight you're playing at Numo's and you're just finishing up a tour. How's that gone? Yeah, it's been a really good one. It was, it was good. Yeah, excited Great, for really. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Great. It was excellent. So Home, fun. Hometown show. <laughs> Going to be a lot of fun energy. It's hard to believe that 10 years has flown by. You all met at college in Walla Walla. I always take the opportunity to say Walla Walla <laughs> when I can. And the bonds that you've developed over the past decade are so deep. There's a lot of love um, among all of you. And I'm wondering what are some of the things that you've come to appreciate about one another over the years, and especially as you're finishing up a tour, what do you feel are the qualities that each of you bring to the group? <laughs> That's um, <right>. I'll start. <laughs> we actually did do an exercise once in the van where we gave each other compliments. <laughs> I feel like uh, let's Julie, relive that. Yeah, Julia so has um, a great sense of adventure. She always makes <laughs> a situation <laughs> as fun as she possibly can, and she can. She has a way of rallying everyone around a certain thing, even if it's like super boring. It turns out to be extremely fun. I want to hang out with Julia. Again. <laughs> I need a little bit more of that in my life. <laughs> Aww, that's sweet. Thanks, Anne. Oh, you're welcome. Anne's really loving. She's just like a great friend, very supportive, and whenever I'm having a tough time, I go to Anne, <laughs> cry on her shoulder. That's true. Uh, All right, now everybody has to take a turn. Now you're really yeah, getting into I this, guess, Lydia. Uh, Gretchen, <laughs> you want to go? Yeah, yeah, I'll go. Gretchen, um, Gretchen has this like amazing way of seeing things that is really different from the way I see things, and it just like really grounds me and like I feel like she's someone on tour who I can just depend on to have to like shed light on different any kind of situation and help me to see it more clearly it's really amazing agreed uh Lydia has just a real brilliance to her and like an amazing <laughs> problem solving like ability it's just like I feel like on tour, just like any time can roll with like whatever, you know, it's like, oh, this is happening. Okay. Or this is not happening. We'll do this instead. Like, it's really amazing to be around that energy. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Now we're going to do a trust fall. And then after lunch, we're going to do a ropes course. We have done trust falls. Also. <laughs> Another tour. Retreat. Trust falls. Well, this new record is so lush and mournful. I love those beautiful multi-part harmonies. We heard them on those songs there. Um, you've undoubtedly learned a lot about making records over the years. And it sounds like the process of making this one was different in a number of ways. Um, you took more time in the studio. You expanded your instrument palette. You invited someone in to help you produce the record. It sounds like a lot of fun stuff. And I want to hear about all of it. <laughs> Tell me everything. Yeah, we really had a good time recording. We did the basic tracking at Seahorse Studios in Los Angeles and just like really felt comfortable there. We all had a great time. Very vibey there. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a vibe. <laughs> what did it feel like to take a little bit more time than you had either allowed yourself or been able to take in the past? Amazing. So nice. So nice. <laughs> yeah, really I don't know what we were thinking before. We were always just like trying to cram it into like like the la the record before this. I think we took seven or eight days to record fourteen songs. It was too much. Which yeah. Yeah. It was nice to be able to experiment with like different tempos or changing parts in the studio because usually it would come pr like fully prepared. Like this is how fast it's gonna be or like these are the exact parts. And it was nice to be able to have some room to breathe and mm -hmm. change things up if that felt right. And talk about some of the extra instruments that you brought in. What, what, what was going on there? Well, oh. Annie's amazing at violin, so we had to feature that. <laughs> Lots of violin. Little strings yeah. on there. Julia can play the piano, so she added some <laughs> little synthy parts. That was fun. Yeah, and then Melina was there with us. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Melina did some trumpet. trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. Snuck it in there. Yeah. <laughs> What was it like working with Melina? We, she, we love her. 
Hmm. So do we. So I do. bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to love. So talented, yeah. so kind, so generous. Yeah. What was it like in the studio bringing in, you know, another... I imagine it's always good, sort of, to have someone that's not in the band, you know, having nice. having a look yeah. at and the listen to what's going on. But it was, it was fun to just have another set of ears, yeah. you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. and someone we felt comfortable around already. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was nice. Yeah, I just like really trusted her opinion on everything. So, yeah, it's nice. It, really sounds, it sounds very relaxed, and I mean the results amazing. And you have all pretty much met your entire adult lives in the band Chastity Belt. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just constant touring and making records. And you took a little bit of a break a while back. And I imagine it was nice for the first time in your adult lives to live a little life outside the band, as much love is clearly evident in this room. I mean, how did it feel to take a breather from 10 years of constant recording, touring, and all of the things that are associated with being in a band? and Amazing. Yeah, it was nice. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably like a six month break, but it was nice to just think about other things and kind of think like, what else defines me besides this band? Yeah. Just kind of put myself in a different mindset and then realize like how much I love having this band to like <laughs> define me, you know? It's like without it I'm like lost and like what do I do? Well, it's important to take, you know, take a break and step back. You know, it's surprising it took you so long to do that. <laughs> yeah. And it sounds like you came back invigorated and excited and, you know, we made this beautiful record. It does it's clearly a chastity belt record, but it has a different sound to it. Yeah. yeah. It's a yeah, very vibey. <laughs> Con- contemplative a little more mature yeah. our next record is going to be a little bit more like alt rock <laughs> so get ready for that one we less are ready mature, maybe? Less, less mature, mature yeah, yeah. We're, going back. <laughs> we're regressing um tell me a little bit about um the lyrics what you're exploring here there's a lot of emotional depth to the song i mean i've always you know, perked up my ears to all your songs in the past and they've made me think. But, um, and also you started with that song, Elaine. I mean, tell me about that, that song. That's a great song. Yeah. Um, that's, well, it's actually called Elena cause it's based on the book by Elena Ferrante or the series of books, the Neapolitan novels. And we all read those books and really enjoyed them. So it's kind of, the lyrics are based off of that. And other things that you feel that you were exploring here that you hadn't hadn't really looked at before? I think it's a kind of nostalgic record in a way. Yeah. Very introspective. Nice. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's kind of vague, I guess, but yeah. Maybe it will become clear to you the more you <laughs> perform it. <laughs> yeah. That's actually, I say that tongue in cheek, but artists often say that, you know, they don't really know exactly where you know, the songs come from from them, and then it becomes more clear, you know, as they sing them and feel them and play them. They're like, oh, that's what I was writing about yeah. <laughs> there. Um, you're just about to do a song called The Process, which came out at the end of January, and that was a split single with Melbourne band Loose Tooth. T- tell me about that song. Lydia, they're all pointing at you. No, no tuning, no time for tuning. <laughs> um, that song, actually, we... Wrote We've, that a long like we played that at our release show for our last the record. last yeah. record. So I wrote it a long time ago and I forgot everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um generally like I think songwriting for most of us we're like pretty introspective people and it just kind of comes from whatever's happening in our lives at that moment. Express it. Well, some some of the proceeds from that song went to the Australian Wildlife Relief Effort, so yes. that's wonderful. And um, again, that is our KEXP free podcast song of the day today. So thank you so much for Great. generously offering that up to our listeners. And uh, what, why don't you play it now? <laughs> it's Chastity Belt live on KEXP. This song's called The Process. <laughs>
We're live in the KEXP studios with Chastity Bell. They're playing tonight in Seattle at Numo's. Got to do a little switcheroo here. Maybe now is a good time to do the trust fall. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's now on drums. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're listening to Chastity Belt live here in the KEXP studios. Thank you all so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. Thank you so much for having us. Always great to see you. Okay. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.